I'm sure you've probably seen all the people posting about their New Year's resolutions or their word of the year or their goals for the year. And I just wanted to share with you which of those I do and what mine are for this year. I tend to gravitate more towards setting goals for the year rather than a New Year's resolution. And I also like doing the word of the year just so I have like this, this focus that's just over the whole year. So my word for the year is intentional. I don't know about you, but over these last two years, I have found myself wasting a lot of time and not putting forth effort to have experiences that I want to have, but would take a little bit more work than just going with the flow. I want to be intentional to start working towards the life that I want to have and working towards the goals that I have set for myself this year and not just let this year slip by like it feels like the last two years have. And when I set goals for the year, I don't just set things like drink more water because that's so vague and I don't really know when I've achieved that because it's, it's not measurable. I like to set what are called SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. These types of goals are a lot easier to achieve and it will motivate you a lot more because you can see when you have achieved them and where you're getting close to achieving them. So the last two years, I've broken up my goals into four different categories, financial, personal, social, and business. And I'm just going to give you a few examples of some of the goals that I have in each category. I probably have like four or five in each category, but I'm just going to share a couple. Two of my financial goals are to have a thousand dollars in an emergency fund that I don't touch at the end of the year. So every month I need to be putting in a little bit as I can to work up to that thousand dollars. Another goal that I have is to have $200 of passive income by December 31st. This is things like when I release music, teaser, or if I magically was able to get monetized this year, which I don't think is realistic or if I come up with some kind of downloadable on Etsy that can just sell without me having to do anything. Those kinds of things are what would fall into this category of passive income. And for my personal goals, one of them is to grow dahlias. I tried to grow dahlias last year and I did get three blooms, but we planted them so late in the season that it didn't really, they didn't really have time to fully grow. So I want to try them again. I saved my tubers from last year and I'm going to try again and I want to successfully grow enough to make a few bouquets at least. I also want to read the equivalent of one book per month. This was a goal that I also had last year and I did achieve it, but just barely. I read four books in January and then like one in March, one in August, one in November. And then I actually ended up meeting my goal because I read an entire book in one sitting on like December 30th or 31st or something like that. But I made it and that's what counts. One of the social goals I set for this year is to take a trip to the coast. This was also on my list last year and regretfully I did not make that happen. I did however travel. If you've been watching this, you know I went to Texas and drove back with my friend. So I did get the traveling bit in there, I just didn't go to the coast. I wanted to go along like the Washington and Oregon coast, maybe into California, we'll see. But I am going to start saving up to be able to do that in like August or something. The last category of goals that I have is business. Last year, I admit I set my sights a little too high in this category. I would have to go back and look, maybe I'll pop it up on the screen if I can find the numbers, but the numbers that I wanted to achieve for subscribers and followers on Instagram were very unrealistic. So this year I am taking it down a notch and I have the goal to have 100 subscribers here on YouTube by the end of the year. I feel like that's a lot more doable. Another business goal that I have is releasing an original song by my birthday. I've written two songs for this purpose. One of them I think is just going to end up being a poem. It doesn't really flow well enough to be a song but the other one I actually wrote last night. I was lying in bed, trying to go to sleep, 
and I just got lyrics popping into my head. So I grabbed my phone and my first voice memo was at 9.23 and my last one was at 10.13. So it took me 50 minutes to write the entire song, lyrics and tune, and I am so excited. It actually, I think it's gonna work. I would love to hear from you guys what you prefer, a New Year's resolution or goals, and if you do a word for the year, and maybe you could share some in the comments down below, and we can all see what we are trying to achieve this year. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week.